welcome to the EFMHL Tonight Network. I'm your host Sad Romano. Let's get all of the hockey action from Tuesday's games. Game 2 of the Stewart Cup Finals had a familiar result as it did a year ago. Aces Joe Sturface and John Reef Snyder each scored goals and goaltender Andrew Kopitsi stopped all 27 shots in his second game since he returned for the Aces. Brandon McNamara, Harry Carr and Will Sturface each pitched in with assists as the Aces captured the third Stewart Cup championship with a 2-0 victory over the Outlaws. This was the second elimination game to shut out in a row dating back to last year's cup finals when the Aces handed the Wolfpack a 5-0 loss. Following the victory, the Aces had lost only once in their last 12 games going 11-1 dating back to December 2nd. They had a 4-0 record in the Stewart Cup playoffs and scored 14 goals while only giving up 8 total. 
prior to the cup finals, the Outlaws had scored 14 goals heading into the series with the Aces. Forwards Justin Rumsey and Joe Hoffman were held to one point and no goals after combining 74 points and 31 games leading up to the Stewart Cup Finals. The Outlaws couldn't capitalize on six power play chances going 0-6 in Game 2. Goaltender Steve Verdowin, who is the finest for top goaltender of the year was stellar throughout the whole playoffs posting a 2-2 record and 2.50 goals against. He stopped 29 shots and kept the Outlaws in Game 2 but the team couldn't generate enough scoring chances despite the Aces' tight defense. Captain Rob Madrak a former playoff MVP, was the Outlaw's best player in the playoffs leading all players with six points. This was the Outlaw's first trip to the Stewart Cup Finals in his team's history. After going 1-7 and 1 in the 2014 season, the Outlaws had an excellent year finishing as the second top team in the EFMHL with a 10 and 5 record. Aces forwards Joe Sterface and Chris Balda were awarded the Chris Gardner Trophy as the co-MVPs in this year's Stewart Cup playoffs. Both players scored four goals each and had scored the game winner for the Aces who went 4-0 in the playoffs. This is their third Stewart Cup in the last five seasons and its second consecutive which are all league leaders in the league's history. Thanks for watching the EFMHL Tonight Show. your 2015 Stewart Cup champions of the EFMHL. Stay up to date with all the awards and all-star selections as well as the EFMHL All-League teams. Follow us on LeagueLineup.com for all the off-season news and rumors. Thanks for tuning in this season as another year comes to an end. Congratulations to the Aces, your Stewart Cup champions of the EFMHL. I'm Martin Cohen for the EFMHL Tonight Network. See you all again next year.